Well, well, well. Hey guys, Sean here. Welcome to the F1 Word and to some massive, and for me anyway, hugely surprising news. And that is that Aston Martin has confirmed that Fernando Alonso will replace Sebastian Vettel at the team next season. Yes, Fernando Ruddy Alonso is heading to Aston Martin. As for the newsy bit, the deal is described as multi-year, so this isn't one of those one-season things. And in a statement from the team, Alonso is quoted as saying, This Aston Martin team is clearly applying the energy and commitment to win, and it is therefore one of the most exciting teams in Formula 1 today. I have known Lawrence and Lance for many years, and it is very obvious that they have the ambition and passion to succeed in Formula 1. I have watched as a team has systematically attracted great people with winning pedigrees and I have become aware of the huge commitment to new facilities and resources at Silverstone. No one in Formula One today is demonstrating a greater vision and absolute commitment to winning and that makes it a really exciting opportunity for me. He went on to say that he still has the hunger and ambition to fight to be at the front and wants to be part of an organisation that is committed to learn, develop and succeed and ended by saying that the passion and desire to perform he's witnessed have convinced him to maintain his enjoyment and commitment to the sport and he intends to win again in Formula 1 and so has taken the opportunities that feel right to him. So last week, Sebastian Vettel threw a hand grenade into the driver market and just a few days later, his replacement has already been confirmed. Things have moved very quickly. Like I say, I am very surprised by this. I mean, in the race reaction stream on Sunday, I even asked the question, why would he leave Alpine to go to Aston given the different fortunes of the two teams right now? I mean, Alpine are consistently scoring points and have got a very quick car, but clearly his head has been turned by the Aston project, which to be fair, does look very positive long-term. I can totally understand why pretty much any driver will be tempted by a move in some ways. I'm just not sure Fernando will be there long enough to really reap the rewards of the hard work being put in. But what he will do, assuming he's there for a couple of years or so, is potentially really help to accelerate that project. So we'll see, of course. I'm just going off what Lawrence Stroll said last year about it being a five or six year project project to get that team to winning ways. Can we really see Fernando there for six years? And let's face it, this is a great signing for Aston. A double world champion with massive experience who is still one of the best out there and is still massively quick. And yeah, maybe it is one of those moves that makes a lot more sense on paper for Aston than perhaps it does for Fernando. Unless, of course, Alpine had given him some sort of indication they were looking elsewhere. A kind of jumped before he was pushed sort of thing. Perhaps it's even a little bit of both. Just a thought. I will say, though, I have read a rumor this morning suggesting that negotiations between Alpine and Alonso had stalled after not going all that well. Well, and that he actually only began talking to Aston last week. Again, that is just a rumour, but expect to hear a little bit more about this all over the rest of the season. And that's another point, isn't it? This now totally solves Alpine's Oscar Piastri headaches, and I guess he will now likely be partnering Esteban Ocon next season and beyond. And for what it's worth, I should also add that the press release from Aston does confirm that Lance Stroll will be staying on next season too. I know, right? That's the real shocking news here. Bet you didn't see that one coming. But anyway, let's push that huge shocking news to one side. Fernando to Aston is a done deal. And I think, again, we can pretty safely assume that Piastri will head to Alpine to partner Ocon. What that does do is start to send the market back to being a little bit more static. So I'm still pretty sure Ricardo is going to be staying at McLaren. What this will probably do as well is keep Schumacher at Haas for another season. That really only leaves Williams left to make a decision because I do expect Alfa Romeo to give Joe another year because I think that's just a one year deal. So another year for Joe makes sense. I think he's done enough this year to earn a second chance. Maybe super quickly if Logan Sargent carries on improving and performing this year, Williams will give him a shot. But that's definitely a conversation for another video. Super quick summary then, this for at least the third time in this video has totally shocked me this morning. If I'm being completely honest, I'm not convinced this is a good move for Fernando because Alpine have had such a good season so far this year. And I believe right now they're in a stronger position to move forward very nicely in 2023. Whereas Aston are having a tough time of it in 2022 and that project is all about the long term. And don't get me wrong, I would love him to stick around for many more years if he carries on in this current form. But realistically, I don't see him staying there for five or six years. Perhaps money is a factor, it's got to be said, and it may well be the case that there was a really good financial offer he just couldn't refuse, with the added bonus of being sold what on paper looks like a very ambitious project and expansion at Silverstone. I just hope this doesn't end up being another one of those now infamous Alonso moves that doesn't really work out all that well for him. That is it for this quick news reaction video then, but don't forget you can let me know your thoughts on Alonso's move to Aston in the comments section down below. Has it surprised you as much as it has me? And if you are a Fernando Alonso fan, how do you feel about this move? Are you happy? Are you disappointed? Let me know.
Now, I will be back later this week with some more content. But in the meantime, if you did enjoy this one, then please do leave a like as it really does help the channel out. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos or streams. But as ever, thank you for watching. I've been Sean. This has been the F1 Word. And until next time, goodbye.